This is something like Daniel into the Lions then, I suspect. Uh, and terrific that this event is being held this week in NADOC week, and I, I wish, Richard, wish, wish Richard was still here. Uh, just on 40 years ago, uh, great, Labor, uh, great Labor Prime Minister recognised the importance of land to the Aboriginal people in Australia. That gentleman was Gough Whitlam. And, uh, <clears throat> and, and in acknowledging elders past and present, uh, I also acknowledge that today is Gough Whitlam's 93rd birthday in NADOC week. So, <clears throat> yeah, so a terrific week for power shift to be being held and uh, leaders from right around Australia and indeed climate change activists from right around the world to be beamed in or, uh, or to be heard directly from you, uh, by you. But all of us have a common objective here today and that is to make the planet safer. Uh, not just for future generations, but as speakers before me have said, for this generation. for this generation. The great thing about Power Shift and the Australian Youth Climate Coalition is not just your empathy with the problem, but your understanding of the problem to a level of detail that has escaped previous generations. And that, coupled with the energy and idealism that you bring to the debate, is exactly what will change public sentiment. This is preeminently and triumphantly, I'd suggest, a cause for youth. And I don't need persuasion on the vast bulk of environmental policy imperatives. But there is no question, there is no question that your generation and the kids that are coming through in the primary schools behind you will drive this agenda in a way that politicians have never seen before. And I go to lots of schools, I talk to kids, I talk to kids who are eight years old, 12 years old, 14 years old. They have a level of knowledge about this issue that far surpasses the average adult. And uh, you can look at it in policy terms, as I prefer to do, or you can look at it in political terms, as some of my opponents choose to do. Even if you look at it in simply political terms, the green agenda and environmentalism and environment-based policy is coming at politicians like a train down a tunnel. It's only a matter of a few short years away before there will be a tsunami of political opinion around green values to be reflected in the Australian political agenda and the Australian political environment.